hi guys welcome back so today I have the blanket review of baby Americus and um, I am finally happy <laughs> with how she turned out um, I had mentioned before that I took her apart after I had completed her but now she's done uh, she's staying this way but yeah so I'm gonna quickly show you her little body parts and then I'm just gonna dress her into some jammy something simple and easy so let's start with her little feet. So here she is. And I am by the window today and it is early. Although it's still coming out, the light is not that nice out. But maybe it'll give you guys a better look at her. Although to me she looks yellow. She's jaundice. <laughs> no. But baby, she's not jaundice. But yeah, here are the bottom of her little feet. I gotta work on this lighting thing, you guys. I'll get there. And then her little tummy. I don't know how much of a difference that made, but I tried. Either way. She's not yellow. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> Your little hands. Her nails came out very nice as well. They're very nicely detailed. With the different colors on the nail bed. I could only do a good job with this when the nail beds are like hers. She had beautiful nail beds. They were long and they stuck out a little bit at the end where it, made it, it makes it feel like she has a little bit of length to her nails. But yeah, the other hand, can't get too close because then my camera will go wonky on me. And her little face, and she has bunny ears. This is not for her. I just tried it on, and the, it's almost Easter, and I thought, you know what, let me try it on her. The pants, they're loose, you can see from here. But, um, and so is the hat. This, I bought this for Elizabeth. And um, it came with like a bow and stuff like that, but I took all those things out. Take off her little passy. Let me show you her hair. It's going to be all over the place. <laughs> she has really nice hair. Let me see. Where's her little brush? Here it goes. Hold on. Let me fix her up a little bit. I'm going to spread it spray it a little bit but yeah she has pretty long hair on the top and I did that style that swoops up so you guys can see there it swoops up that way but it's very static and messy at the moment and um but I left the top long enough that if you wanted to like give her bangs and make that little peak in the middle Oh my god, did the rooster come back? There, somebody up here has a rooster, and it, the rooster ran away, you guys. And it's in my yard. <laughs> As if I don't have enough wild animals to deal with. Now I have to deal with farm animals, but yeah. Um, that's her hair. I'll show you better when I'm dressing her. She's super sweet. She looks so real. My husband looked at her and went cross-eyed. <laughs> he was like, wow. Oh. <laughs> That's all he said. <laughs> it's because she's full body and he's not used to seeing the full bodies. He sees the, the cloth body ones all the time, but the full bodies come once in a while. So yeah, you guys, as always, I will add photos in the end of the video so you guys could get a better look at her because my video quality is not that great. Okay, so we are back. Let's take this big, big thing off of her. But yeah, you can still see and... Okay, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but you see the cloth that comes out with you. 
And the reason why I left her legs a little floppy this way, like I didn't overstuff her in these and the in these areas, like her arms and her legs, is because if you overstuff these babies, I find that they become really stiff and then they won't move at all. Like if you lift them, they won't move. The legs won't easily move. They'll stay like really tight to the vinyl part up here. And so I tried my best to not overstuff her, but you know, she needs waiting and she does need fluff. So, but in doing so, you have to always like for pictures, be very careful and position her in just the right poses so that you don't see the cloth body. The same with her head. Her head was OMG, as they say. If you overstuff the head, the baby will look like she has like the stiffest neck. And one of the biggest things when it comes to these babies is their floppy little heads. They have to flop in order for them to feel and even look realistic. So in over, you can see her head bounces, but it won't go all the way back and it won't go all the way to the front because of this piece here. So that's my only, you know, qualm with them full bodies they look amazing i love them i have um who is it coming to me another lordy who's the this one indy and that one is supposed to be for me did i order two of them i'm not too sure but um that one's supposed to be for me but more than likely because it's gonna be for me I might cut it down the sides to be able to just put this piece on whenever I want and take it off right away because I don't like this or it'll stay without it and I can turn it into a boy without the body <laughs> but yeah for sure with Indy I will not leave this this on oh I forgot how little smelly baby wafer in there I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, they show you her naked. Hold on, let me turn her around for you guys. An excuse, I hit you see what I mean about the back? Like it comes out, I don't like that. But it is really appealing to the eye to see them like that. Look at her little dishy. How cute. You'll see her better in the pictures. Her skin texturing came out really nice. She's not too sandpapery like. And of course you saw her little, I'm not gonna show her little privates too much. She gets embarrassed. <laughs> so yeah, this is baby um, Americus. She's gonna rule the world. <laughs> I love these diapers. These are some of my favorite diapers. Mia sent me one of these. These are in size newborn. And I like that they have like the little belly button cut right here. I have to fill out her little, I have all her info written down like when I completed her. I actually fill that out like as soon as I put the last zip tie on their head, usually it's the head part. I write down, I look at the time and I write down the hour just like they do in the hospital. So for clothes, I am just going to put her this little um footless sleeper by just one you and it is size newborn and underneath of course this little onesie and these little socks it has glue on them but i can't help that i don't have any more plain white socks and you can't see the onesie underneath so so yeah what was i saying um Oh, and we're gonna try on these little cat mitts. Two baby, a mom and kitty and a baby kitty on it. They're so cute. And I have to get into the habit of putting my babies, I mean, putting my babies on scratch mitts. Let's see how this works out. You'll, I'll show you her hair close up in a few. Let me just comb it out because right now, baby Americus is a little bit, um, on the funky side when it comes to her hair. <laughs> her hair took me a while because she's like, um, 
almost as long as Quinn, this little one took me because she has a lot of hair for such a tiny baby, right? She has a lot of hair. It took me a really long time, but I do like the way her hair came out. Sometimes I'm not happy and, I've, and I'm the type that I will start all over, meaning I will take out one hair at a time until it's completely blank. If I don't like it, that's happened to me maybe what, once or twice? Wow, this fit her really good. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, she looks so real. And this is another thing, the little bodies, when it comes to clothes, the clothes does fall on them in a very realistic way. Let me zoom out of it. You think you guys are too close. And if you see any parts of me, it's all right. But <laughs> I'm having one of those moments, one of those days where... <laughs> You couldn't pay me to do my hair those days, so. Okay, let's put her socks on. Oh my God, get Linda, she's so cute and pretty and sweet. Her little toes, gosh, I wish, I'm getting new lighting, guys, I swear I am. But they came out so cute, her little, she has tiny square little feet. <laughs> but very realistic looking I'm liking Laura Lee Eagles um, I'm starting to become a huge fan I should say of Laura Lee Eagles um, I wasn't too fond before but I am now and uh, oh boy am I waiting for Atticus that one oh my god that little boy is adorable I want him so bad. I have a plan for that one. So I am looking him up every other day, waiting for him to come out. <laughs> it's gonna be a while, I think. Oh, before I had Benjamin, I had um, no boys. And I had ordered myself a boy that I thought was my bring, dream baby, which he still is. But, okay, my question to you guys, once again, this is an order from McPherson's, and the same thing that happened to me with the Olga hour that I decided, and I changed my mind because it took too long, and by the time he released, I was already upset, and there was a big mix-up, and whatever. But, it's been a while. I ordered this kit in October. Is it normal? I mean, I'm guessing it, it is, but for a pre-release kit to come out, the pre-order, I should say, to come out six months before they actually start shipping the kit out. Because I ordered this kit in October, and it's still nowhere... I don't hear of it. It's almost like he disappeared. I don't hear anything about him or anyone talking about him. I checked to N. McPherson's site. I'm one of those that I don't like to bother them and stuff like that with constant calling. Where's my baby? I mean, they don't do that. But October, you guys, we're in April and still no word of his release. So um, my question to you guys is, have you ever experienced something like that? Oh my gosh, she looks so you with clothes on. Okay, let's comb her hair before this video gets too long, as always. Once it dries, I over, I, I think I over wet it a little bit. I don't like to do that. So the hair gets too stuck to the head. And I like the, a little bit of fluff at least. But as you can see, I left through some little curls going in the front. Some little peaks there. And Comb it with that style that swoops to the side that a lot of people like. You see, it bunches up if I overwet it. I don't like that. It looks much nicer when it's dry, I think. Where are you getting glitters from, little girl? But yeah, I like the little stragglers here. 
So here she is. What do you think of Little Miss Americas? She's so cute. She's adorable. had a long day. <laughs> anyway, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed meeting America's here. And, as always, thank you very much for watching, and the babies and I will see